PCB manufacturing data is quite standard, but your board is not. There's always going to be a need to be able to configure your own Gerber and Exelon drill files in order to conform to your design requirements or even different manufacturers. That's why in the latest release of Eagle we have redesigned the CAM processor in order to make it easier for you to go through this process. Hi, my name is George and I'm with Autodesk Eagle and here's today's tutorial. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the CAM processor icon and for those of you who have used Eagle in the past you will notice immediately that the CAM processor looks very different so first thing we want to call your attention to is that on the left side the output files are organized by their type so we have a drill type, Gerber type, a drawings type which we'll get to shortly and a legacy type under each drawing type you have the different sections of the files you need to generate so this is defaulting to the two layer CAM job the CAM processor will observe your DRC settings and load up an appropriate template by default. Now, for those of you who have worked with Eagle before, I want to assure you and let you know that your existing CAM jobs all work in the new CAM processor without modification. So the way I can show you that is if we click on this icon, we go to Local CAM Jobs, and I'll select GURB274x.CAM. This is the GURB274x.CAM that has always shipped in Eagle. You'll notice that because it is an old style CAM job, it opens under the legacy section. And you can see that the tab looks just like you're used to. It's the same type of format. Now, as it is right now, you can go ahead and click process job and generate your manufacturing data and it's going to be exactly the same as it was in previous versions of Eagle you also have the option to update to the new Gerber format in, e in the latest version of Eagle we support Gerber X2 which is backwards compatible with Gerber RS274X so whenever possible we encourage you to generate Gerber X2 that way any board house can open the Gerber files those who support Gerber X2 and even those who are still using the old RS274X format will be able to open the X2 files. The format is backwards compatible. So if I double click one of these sections, you notice that you get this message that says CAM sections have been converted. Please verify that the new export settings match your legacy CAM sections. I'll say OK. And you'll notice that now it's been moved to the Gerber section and we get the preview and we get the later configuration now if I want to convert all of them just right click on legacy and say convert all eligible legacy sections to new CAM format again you'll get this message say OK and everything is in the new format okay so let's say that we want to create our own template okay we can click here we can go to the templates we can pick the two layer default that we had before and let's say that we want to add a new section here to Gerber, maybe for milling. Go ahead and right click, say new Gerber output. Okay, we'll call this one milling. We'll leave the function as other. You'll notice that you can pick various different options here. But for now, it's going to work best for us if we leave it as other. We leave a description. We can say milling information. We can go to layer. We're going to go ahead and add the layer that we wish to include. We can add as many as we want. I'll go ahead and pick 46 milling. Say OK. We can, in this case, it's empty. We can choose to, in addition, add the board shape as well as any cutouts that may be in the file. So in this case, this is a, a difference to the old CAM processor. Now you can independent of the layer configuration add in the board shape and any cutouts and this can sometimes help in aligning the Gerber files you'll notice here that all of the Gerbers now in the new format use the GBR extension what's going to happen is that when the Gerber file is generated it's going to put in the name of the design it's gonna append this, this name section here and then it's gonna end it with a dot GBR okay and again just like before you can choose to export just a section by clicking on export file or we can go ahead and again process the whole job 
we can edit the description over here using the same editor we've always used for descriptions we can add to the drawing section for example by clicking here we can add DXF output open legacy cam jobs we can rearrange things so let's go ahead and in addition to the existing drill let's say we want to add another one so again I'll right click say new excellent output and again I can specify the information we have the file name there is the possibility of generating excellent outputs based on PCB stack up so in previous versions of Eagle Eagle would automatically generate each an individual drill file for each stack up now we can make the process a little bit more explicit a little bit easier to trace simply by right clicking and selecting generate excellent excellent outputs based on PCB stack up now one the other thing I want you guys to notice is that certain parameters are defined for the entire file type so for example for all of the drill files I can generate 20 drill files they're all going to have the same format something similar happens with Gerber the Gerber section if I click it I can choose the output type I can choose the prefix and I can specify the format this is going to be automatically transmitted to each of the sections of that type so after setting up all of the job you're gonna notice that there's a checkbox up here called export at zip and what this is gonna allow you to do is if you hit process job all of the files are gonna be put into a zip file automatically and placed in the directory of your choice so all of this helps speed up the manufacturing process you're gonna be able to have all of your manufacturing data quickly so you will also notice that because of the new format we do have a preview it's very easy to kind of get an extra verification of what the output is going to be we support Gerber X2 now there's the ability to define those file formats like I mentioned and obviously the new zip function so this is a breakthrough change in the latest version of Eagle thank you very much for watching and have a great day